live in high definition from the area's most experienced news team. This is NBC 29 HD News at Sunrise. Thanks for joining us this morning on your news at sunrise. I'm Alana Austin. We'll get to those top stories in just a second. But first, we'll check in with meteorologist Clayton Stiver. He's here at the news desk with us this morning. Happy 4th of July yes, weekend, Clayton. Yes, uh, happy 4th of July weekend to you as well, Alana. Did you Thank have a good you. one? Yes, I did. What about you? Yeah, it was pretty good. My folks actually visiting from out of town. And uh, we took the little guy. The folks went to a Scottsville last mm -hmm. night for the fireworks display. I want to say they do a great job there. We've got lots of great displays, obviously, mm -hmm. around the viewing area. But I could, I've never been to Scottsville for the 4th of July fireworks before. They go on and on forever, spectacular. And of course, the weather was fantastic as well. Right, so right, yeah. we certainly deserve it, folks. After all the storms and the mugginess we had from the past week, we were tracking Hurricane Arthur as well. Yeah, it's all out of here and just a fantastic weekend weather-wise. Low temperatures this morning. How about this? We're talking numbers that are well back in the 50s. Would not be shocked if we even have some isolated upper 40s out there. Certainly across the Shenandoah Valley, nice, dry, refreshing air mass, the clear sky overnight, lack of any wind allowing those temperatures to drop off here. Nothing to show you as you would expect on NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar this morning under the influence of high pressure all throughout the weekend. Ample sunshine, hard to find any clouds out there. I think we're up to about 67 here, 9 a.m. A light north breeze, winds out of the northeast around the noon hour. Plenty of sunshine, 75. Should round out the day, upper 70s to low 80s, and the humidity way down on the low side. Coming up with our seven day forecast, things will get a little warmer tomorrow, but that humidity still very much on the low side. Plenty of sunshine as we go into the week ahead, though. The heat humidity will build for us, and some storm chances return. I'll have all the details coming up in a bit. Now we'll send it back to Alana. Just perfect weather to enjoy today, folks. A nice cool start this morning. Temperatures climbing to the 60s. Lots of sunshine, light winds this afternoon. Either side of 80 degrees, very low humidity. Spectacular weather again tomorrow, but the heat and humidity will build for the week ahead. Your full forecast coming up. Welcome back, folks, on our News at Sunrise here. This is Saturday morning. Hope everyone's been having a great uh, holiday weekend so far here. A live look with our mountain cam atop Carter Mountain looking into downtown Seaville. Can't complain about this weather by any means. Uh, just perfect timing here for all the holiday festivities. And what a cool, refreshing start this morning here. You see all that clear sky on the mountain cam. We had that overnight. When you don't have any breeze, that allows those temperatures to cool off quite a bit. We are up to 61 now outside of our NBC 29 studios in Charlottesville. Do want to apologize for a little bit of the blank spots here. We do have some weather bug stations that are down for maintenance, hence the reason why you're not seeing them there. But uh, nevertheless, other locations here still sitting in the 50s this morning and today's highs, many spots maybe not even getting out of the 70s. Look at all the cool air across uh, not only our neck of the woods, but the Ohio Valley, the northeast here, a large area of high pressure that has built down from Canada here, making for this uh, nice, cool, and refreshing air mass for us. Dew points, of course, better measure of how humid it's going to feel out there. The moisture content in the atmosphere also running very much on the low side with the dry air, courtesy of this uh, large area of high pressure that will continue to build down across us and eventually move on out to sea as we get into the latter half of the weekend. So here's our future cast highs for today. As said, again, some locations not getting above 80 degrees, certainly in the Shenandoah Valley, east of the Blue Ridge. Yeah, at or just above 80. Tonight's lows should be cooling off nicely again. It looks like mid to upper 50s. Tomorrow, things do get a little bit warmer. I think we're talking numbers well back into the 80s, although the humidity still should not be so high just yet. Uh, again, what we're talking about today is kind of a northeasterly wind with this high pressure system. That will move off the coast tomorrow, so we get more of a turning of the winds out of the south. That's why we warm it up a little bit, but the humidity is going to take some time to really start to increase. Then as we go into the week ahead, here we are Monday now. Temperatures getting back to that 90 degree mark. The humidity definitely Definitely building as we hang on to the southwesterly flow, and that's just going to be with us now for much of the rest of the week here. So heat and humidity comes back, and we will also have shower and storm chances returning eventually as we get a frontal boundary to slowly track into that air mass. Classic midsummer-like weather that we've come to uh, get used to here. Quiet scan of NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar. Not a whole lot to show you, as you would imagine, on satellite and radar here today as we have this large area high pressure well in control. Pretty quiet weekend, pretty easy go for me here for my job this weekend as well. Here we are tonight. Plenty of clear sky still in place on into our Sunday. Clear skies to start. We might 
might see a little bit more cloud cover tomorrow during the PM, but still we're calling it mostly clear here overall and plenty of fair sky remains in place Sunday night and Monday yet to start the week. At least we're still on the dry side. It's Tuesday and beyond. We'll start to increase some of those shower and storm chances. So 77 to 82 today. Lots of sunshine. North to southeast breezes five miles per hour. Then tonight, clear skies, calm winds, comfy lows again in the 50s tomorrow. 82 to 86. Still not that humid, though. Sunny south winds five to 10 miles per hour. There's that Virginia National Bank seven day forecast Monday. Mostly sunny. We're up to 90. A little more humidity. Tuesday, we'll call it just an ice storm chance certainly hot humid though with highs in the 90s I think Wednesday Thursday Friday it may be a little bit more unsettled with scattered showers and storms Alana a cold front will move in and maybe stall out across the area so we'll have to keep our eyes to the skies there but in the meantime let's enjoy this weekend get outside for sure absolutely we avoided some trouble spots recently right yeah I mean all, all, of course uh, all the unsettled conditions we had there mm -hmm. back in the week uh, and uh, Arthur even though it didn't have any impacts on us the coastal mm -hmm. section some folks with vacation plans there had to change things up but that's yeah. all gone and out of here now so okay well thank you Clayton you bet. Well, on today's community calendar, I have some information about donating some of your time next week. The Salvation Army of Charlottesville does a lot of great work in and around the Seaville area, but now it needs your help next week, Monday through Saturday. Its family store at 604 Cherry Avenue in Charlottesville is in great need of renovations, so it will be closed next week. Volunteers are needed from 9 a.m. until 5 o'clock each day. By the way, lunch will be provided if you sign up in time. For more information about this volunteer effort or about the Salvation Army in Charlottesville, you want to call 434-295-4058, extension 114. Of course, for more info on this event and others across the area, you can always go to the community section of our website at NBC29.com. We'll be right back. Live in high definition, NBC29 HD News at Sunrise continues. Good morning. Here is a sunny view from our Charlottesville camera today. We are going to start off with weather. Thanks for joining us this morning on your news at sunrise. I'm Alana Austin. Now I'm joined here by meteorologist Clayton Stiver. It was a little bit chilly this morning. I know this is unreal. Out. This air mass for yeah. this time of the year. We had temperatures well down in the 50s, even some uh, isolated upper 40s, perhaps. Jack Cameron, our weather watcher in wow. Fisherville, uh, Fishersville, he just told me not too long ago, 49 degrees at his station there. So just uh, unbelievable stuff. Your typical lows this time of the year should be in the uh, middle 60s, but you know this just gives you a better idea, folks, of this nice, dry, cool, comfortable, refreshing air mass that we have in place for this weekend, making for great conditions. Can't complain at all here. 62 right now outside of our NBC 29 studios, but uh, many other locations, Orange, Lake Monticello, Fort Fluvanna County, Bridgewater in the Shenandoah Valley. Yeah, temperatures still well back in the 50s. Very light breeze, as you can see the peak gusts this morning, not even getting up to uh, 10 miles per hour. Quiet scan of NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar. We're under the influence of high pressure this weekend, folks, so not a whole lot of weather to talk about other than the very nice conditions here. Ample sunshine today, 9 a.m. temperature. I think we're up to about 67, a light north breeze by the noon hour, around 75 or so. Light northeast winds should round out the afternoon. Either side of 80, humidity, Definitely way down there. Coming up with your seven day forecast tomorrow will be a little bit warmer, but we'll still keep the humidity on the low side. And yes, more uh, ample sunshine to enjoy going through the week ahead, though. The heat and humidity will build and we will start to see some shower and storm chances return. You know, we can't go too long without those. Of course, I'll detail it more in a bit with your seven day. Now send it back to Alana. And you can see how perfect the weather looked there. That's more of the same for today, folks. Temperature up to about 73 here, 11 a.m. Low humidity, ample sunshine this afternoon. Either side of 80. Tomorrow will be a little warmer, but uh, as we go into the week ahead, more heat and humidity definitely builds for us. I'll have the details with your seven-day forecast coming up. Welcome back, folks. Hope everybody had a great uh, 4th of July yesterday, and it's always nice when it goes right into the uh, weekend here, so hopefully you're continuing to... Uh, have some festive uh, occasions here for the weekend. Perfect weather, certainly for outdoor plans. Nice, cool, comfortable start this morning here in Charlottesville. We're at 63. Many other locations outside of town are still sitting in the 50s. The uh, low at the Charlottesville McCormick Observatory, by the way, this morning was 58 degrees. The record low for the day is 53. So we didn't break a record low, but certainly cool enough. The Shenandoah Valley Stanton at the Shelburne Middle School right now, 56 degrees, a morning low of 52 there. And should point out the dew points. Look at how low these numbers are right now, 48 
yeah, that uh, just gives you a better indicator of how dry this air mass is, how comfortable it is right now with these very low dew points today. Even tomorrow it comes up a little bit, but 55 for this time of the year, still not that bad by any means. You'll notice as we progress to the upcoming week, though, you knew it would be a matter of time. The heat and humidity returns as those dew points are well back into the 60s. Quiet scan of NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar. That's going to be staying that way all throughout the weekend here. Not a whole lot to show you across the Commonwealth on satellite and radar this morning. Plenty of clear sky to start our day, and we're going to be talking about ample sunshine all throughout our Saturday. We'll take a tour off to the north and east, saying goodbye to Arthur, which once was a hurricane, now a tropical storm and actually losing its tropical characteristics as it uh, makes its way up here across Nova Scotia. So goodbye to Arthur. We head out to our west here. Big area of high pressure. Yeah, you can see that with the clear sky across the Ohio Valley in the Midwest. All of this settling across our area for the weekend. And then things a little bit more unsettled here across Iowa. The Plain States this morning. Some showers and storms that will eventually just fizzle out as they try to move into that uh, large area of high pressure. What will happen with time, though, some energy to our north here in Canada. Dip in the jet stream will start to build southward, drive a cold front into a hot, humid air mass that will start to take over as we work through the week ahead. So nice weather, comfortable conditions this weekend. Heat and humidity builds next week, though. And again, with that dip in the jet stream and a cold front clashing with that air mass, we will start to increase shower and storm chances. It looks like Tuesday and beyond next week. Here's future cast though today. Ample sunshine to enjoy here. Clear sky again in place tonight will help to promote some cool refreshing overnight lows once more. Here we go for Sunday. Maybe a little bit more cloud cover tomorrow, but definitely a dry one. Mostly sunny sky overall and still talking about fair skies yet here Sunday night and on into Monday. So high temperatures today, we'll call it 77, 78 in the valley. Lots of sunshine, low humidity east of the Blue Ridge, maybe at or just above 80 degrees. Light north to southeast breeze. Then tonight, clear skies, calm winds, lows in the 50s. Once more, nice and refreshing there tomorrow. 82 to 86, plenty of sunshine. Yeah, it's warmer tomorrow, but the humidity is still relatively low. Virginia National Bank seven day forecast. We're up to 90 on Monday. It will be a little bit more humid, certainly more humid on Tuesday. Hot with highs in the 90s. Just an isolated storm chance, I think, Tuesday, but with a front moving in on Wednesday and hanging out then the rest of the week, I think, a little bit more unsettled. Scattered showers and storms. You notice the temperatures do fall back a little bit, Alana, though, uh, back in the upper 80s by the end of the week there. So good if people want to continue on with their Independence Day festivities yes, this, this is, weekend. Yes, this is how we want it. Obviously, take advantage of it because next week... It's right back to, you know, mm -hmm. what we've come to expect for this time of the year overall. So absolutely. Thank you, Clayton. You bet. On today's community calendar, I have some information about doing some square dancing today. You certainly can't complain. Want to get your dancing shoes on when you have nice weather. So we've got a perfect opportunity tonight, folks. The friendly folks of the Fluvanna Flutter Wheels present square dancing with mainstream plus tips, rounds, hot hash, hexagons and more today from 2 until 530. Then again from 7.30 until 10 p.m. at the Fluvanna County High School. That's at 1918 Thomas Jefferson Parkway. That's Route 53 just west of Palmyra next to Pleasant Grove. The callers include Elbert Harrison, Matt Worley, and Larry Weingart. The Fluvanna High Athletic Department will be serving up a barbecue plate and a chicken plate in case you need a little something to eat in between the two sessions. For more info about this event or about the Fluvanna Flutter Wheels, call 434-286. 2585. Final check of your forecast there this weekend. Great conditions, low humidity, pleasant temp, sunny skies. As we go into next week, we'll see more heat and humidity build. I'll have a full look at your seven day forecast in just a bit. We'll be right back with sports. All right, well, when the uh, weather is pretty quiet, we don't have a lot going on. We try to find some other things to talk about. We were just sitting here uh, chatting about Joey Chestnut, mm -hmm. who uh, won the hot dog eating contest. 61 hot Nathan's dogs. Nathan's at Coney Island there again. <laughs> And uh, this, this go around was a little bit interesting for him though, right? He got engaged <laughs> and his girlfriend was also a competitive eater. How about that? You know, uh, win, a, win a hot dog eating contest and what better way to celebrate mm -hmm. than to uh, get engaged. So Definitely. congratulations to Joey Chestnut and his fiance. <laughs> hey folks, we've got a stellar weekend here. Ample sunshine today, either side of 80 degrees, low humidity, light breezes tonight. Another comfortable, refreshing one. 54 to 58, your lows clear sky. Tomorrow will be a little warmer, but the humidity is still pretty low for us. Mostly sunny, low to middle 80s. There's the Virginia National Bank seven day forecast. Monday, we're back to 90, a little bit more humidity again, but mostly sunny. Tuesday, hot and humid in the 90s. I'm going to call it just an isolated PM storm chance right now. I think it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a little better chance 
for scattered showers and storms with a cold front and that will knock the temperatures down a little bit although I don't think the humidity is going to change a whole lot so take advantage of the mm -hmm. nice stuff this weekend absolutely have a safe and wonderful holiday weekend everyone thanks for joining us this morning see you tonight